Hello and welcome. Today we are going to see this amazing tandoori chicken wings and this guacamole recipe. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and do share it with your friends. Let's go through the ingredients list. I have one pot of garlic peeled. I have one onion cut into pieces and I have some coriander stems and some salt, tikka masala and tandoori powder. So now let's add the garlic, onions and the coriander stems and we'll keep some onions for garnishing later and we'll add the salt as well into a jar and then let's grind this and make it into a nice paste and we can add some water if needed. Let's pour that grinded mix into a bowl and then what we'll do is we'll add the tandoori masala. I have Shan's brand. You can add any brand that you may like. So I'm adding about one and a half or two tablespoon of uh, tandoori masala powder. And then to that I'm also adding um, one and a half teaspoon of tikka masala. So this is a, a masala paste that I got from grocery store. So I'm adding that and I'm just mixing all this together and to this I will also going to add some sesame oil. So I have the whole list of ingredients in the description. So please take a look at that for the whole list uh, of uh, ingredients. So mix this nicely and then uh, we can add a little bit of sesame oil about two tablespoon and then a tablespoon of uh, glaze so it's um, thick soy sauce so we are adding this just for the color of the wings so um, let's add one tablespoon of that so let's give another uh, mix with a spoon um, so that it, it binds evenly and mixes around perfectly and then we can add the chicken into this. So this looks absolutely perfect and smell, smelling really nice. So let's add the chicken now. Let's mix around the chicken wings so that the masala coats the chicken. So I think this bowl is not enough so I'll transfer it into a bigger uh, vessel. So now you see that uh, it's evenly spread and you know like uh, just mix around and try to put uh, the paste on top of the chicken so that it can nicely soak in all the juice. So let's leave this about an hour at least. So if you can leave it for more it's better. So now, so now let's start making the guacamole. So we have all the ingredients here. So what we'll do, let's um, get the garlic and nicely mash it in a mortar and pestle. So nicely mash it. So it doesn't have to become a paste. You just have to mash it until it, it brings out all the smell and the oils from the garlic out. So now let's uh, prep the avocado. So let's just uh, put the knife on the middle of the avocado and cut it around and then just try to break it open and then we'll remove the pit of the avocado like that and then what we can do now is just uh, make a small slit and then we can just peel off the skin easily like this so let's do that for all the avocados so this is another method that we can peel the avocado instead of scooping it with a spoon so uh, see whichever is easier for you and then uh, just follow the method. So if, if, if scooping is easier for you, just use a spoon and scoop the avocados out. So now let's uh, peel all of them and then we'll get to the next step. Be very careful when you're trying to take the pit out using the knife. So you, you might hurt yourself if you're, not, if you're not used to it. So be very careful. So 
so now you, we have the beautiful avocados just right not very ripe for the guacamole ready so now um, I'm going to use a blender hand blender to mash this uh, avocado so let me grab that and then uh, I'm going to use that let's add some salt like one teaspoon of salt and then we'll use the hand blender and mash it so once the avocado is mashed and then we can add the garlic as well into this and another thing if you like chunky guacamole you can keep one half of the avocado and just cut them into pieces and then once all this uh, mashing and adding all the other uh, ingredients is done you can just put this chunks over and mix it around so that way you get some chunks of avocados so i didn't do it this time but you can do that if you want to so now let's add the garlic into this and then we can uh, mix that as well let's run the hand blender once with the garlic in so that it it can uh, break the it into small pieces and also mix it around nicely and then after that we can add the onions the chopped onions so um, add how much uh, that you like in the guacamole and then let's add the tomatoes and also the uh, cilantro and then we can just mix and then uh, we can taste it um, and if you need a little bit more salt or you know you like more onions you can just add whichever you want so I think uh, this one is ready so now just uh, we just have to add the pepper on top of it so um, so that it's more fresh we just add some freshly ground pepper and some lime juice so that the guacamole doesn't uh, become dark and uh, yeah it's it's ready right now so let's start the chicken wings preparation baking process so I'm going to spray some oil in into the aluminium foil uh, so I'm going to use the air fryer for uh, baking this uh, in air fryer boat so let's uh, put all the chicken wings in one layer side by side and then uh, we can uh, bake it in air fryer mode yeah you can actually do it on top of the grill directly um, I mean in the air fryer but I use the aluminium foil so that it's easy clean up so after it's done I just have to uh, trash the aluminium foil and give a quick wash if not there'll be a lot of uh, you know oil and uh, chicken uh, you know the stock and all which you have to wash a lot so now uh, let's put it in air fryer mode and then um, we'll bake it for um, about for about 10 minutes and then um, we can turn it over after that so now the 10 minutes is done so if you see it's uh, you know kind of cooked so let's turn it over and then we'll set the timer again for another 14 minutes and this time we'll uh, make the temperature as 400 Fahrenheit so I just like using this air fryer a lot uh, I need to say this because uh, whenever I use my big uh, oven it takes a long time for heating up and to cook but then in this air fryer it's very fast so um, now the timer is over and look at it it's really nice it looks like it's been grilled so I'm going to flip it around and then keep for another uh, seven minutes on the other side and I think that will uh, do for us Now it's done and uh, look at 
the sizzling it's really come out really well so let me put it into a platter and I'll show it to you so here our chicken wings are ready I've just garnished it with some coriander leaves and some um, onions cut into pieces and uh, this will go with our guacamole and some tortilla chips from the store so here we go so we have our simple dinner today I hope you guys enjoy this please hit the like button and share it with your friends and drop in your comments until next time Vani Atmalingam thank you and bye